In other news, SMRT CEO So Pekwa has stepped down as president and CEO with immediate effect. This comes three weeks after Singapore experienced its worst train disruption in history. Imel Saad has the latest. A filing with the Singapore Exchange said Ms. So is leaving to pursue personal interests. And a statement issued by train operator SMRT later said that the 57-year-old will continue to help the relevant investigation teams and the committee of inquiry reviewing the causes of the train disruptions. Ms. So said she acknowledged the time was right for the board to look at new leadership for the organisation. Ms. So has been with SMRT for about nine years and since the train disruption there were many calls for her resignation. When asked about this at a news conference last month, Ms. Saw had said then that it is something she would seriously consider if there is a necessity to do so. But in SMRT's statement, it said that Ms. Saw had expressed her desire to move even before the train disruption on December 7th. Now, reactions to the news were mixed. If it's the right move to do, if you can't, if you're not up for the job, I believe... You should just let someone take the place for you. If she, she does stay on, she actually can prove herself that she's actually not at fault. But it's just, maybe it's just human error sometimes. If she thinks it's better if she resigned, then, you know, it's good for her. As long as the MRT stop breaking down and everything. Because if they continue breaking down and stuff, there's no point for her resigning. SMRT has appointed 63-year-old Tan Ekia, a board director, as interim CEO. Mr Tan has been with the SMRT board since 2009.